sure of a very warm welcome. Hello? Hello. I'm looking for Montgomery Clyde. Well, that's my father. The, the explorer Montgomery Clyde. That's right. Come on in out of the cold. I'll be right down. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Is Captain Clyde at home? I'm afraid not. You see, my father is dead. Oh. Oh, dear. What did you want from him? He once told my aunt that if ever we came to London, we'd be welcome. And I suppose I hoped he might give me a home. But I can do that. You can? Of course. A lovely specimen like you shouldn't be out on the streets. You belong somewhere very special. And I know just the place. Mm. Going for a lovely ride. <laughs> Miss Clyde! Mr. Curry, what do you want? I found these tied to a lamppost and I thought, waste not, what not. Charming. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, where exactly are you going? What concern is it of yours? You've got the bear in there. And? It's just. I thought you were sending him to Peru, but... I said I was sending him where he belongs, which in his case is the Natural History Museum. But, Honeypot, that is barbaric. Mr. Curry, I am not your honeypot. I never was. What? Now, take your rotten flowers and get out of here. Go. Rouse! Hello. Good evening. This is an anonymous phone call. Oh, hello, Mr. Curry. It's not Mr. Curry, it's Mr. Uh, Barry. I have some news concerning the bear. What? What do you mean? Who is it, Henry? It's Mr. Curry doing a silly voice. It's Barry. He says Paddington's been kidnapped. Right, Would you mind helping a frail old woman? I've missed my bus. Come on in, come on out the cold. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Would you like a wee nip of antifreeze for the old pacemaker? No, 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 not while I'm on duty. Oh, too strong for you, huh? Oh, fighting so. Okay, I'll have one. Go! <laughs> oh, no, best of three. I wasn't ready, I wasn't ready. Come on. Madam Director. Another delivery from the docks. Bring it through. People are going to ask questions. Not at all. As far as the tree huggers who run this place are concerned, I'd never dream of stuffing a poor, defenseless animal. However, it's not enough for me just to look after this dusty old collection. I need to add the odd choice specimen of my own. There was some weird sort of animal at the dock today. Oh, yes? Yeah. 
I was doing my rounds as usual when I spotted something sticky on the deck of the boat. I think they were paw prints. Whatever it was that made them and hidden himself away in the lifeboat. Must have been in there all the way from Peru. Seems to have lived on nothing but marmalade. Did you say marmalade? Hmm. What happened to him? He sneaked out in the mail van. Yes. I tracked him as far as Paddington Station. Good. But then he disappeared. Oh. I'm sorry. It's just that that creature means a great deal to me. Hello? It's Judy Brown from the Portobello Express. Come in. So what's this for, darlings? School newspaper? Yes, we thought the agent of the Phoenix Buchanan would be really interesting. And you'd be right, but I've got two minutes, so we'd better make it snappy. And I've only given you that because you've brought breakfast. Nice buns, by the way. Here he comes. Hello, Joe! What a surprise! What are you doing here? Uh, you know, posting letters. How's Paddington? Oh, he's a tough wee bear. Yeah, he is. Well, send him my best. Yes, I will. Thank you, Joe. Bye-bye. Mr. Buchanan. So when can we expect to see Mr. Buchanan back on stage? Phoenix? Oh, I wouldn't hold your breath, darling. <laughs> no, 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 don't get me wrong. He's a terrific actor. But there is a teensy little problem. Really? He won't work with other people. Thinks they dilute his talent. Miss Fenshaw. Oh, I must scoot. We're having lunch with a big Broadway producer. Oh, where are you going? The Ritz, darling. Really nice buns. no less. Lucky, lucky phoenix. Ooh. Uh, uh. Hello. Phoenix. Felicity. What a lovely surprise. I was beginning to think you'd lost my number. I've got two minutes, so we'd better make it snappy. Okay. We're having lunch with a big Broadway producer. Well, wonderful news. Yes, yes. Where does one go? The Ritz, darling. I am on my way. Nice buns, by the way. I beg your pardon? Really nice buns. Thank you, darling. I've never had any complaints about Mr. and Mrs. Bottycheek. Yes. Gloves, keys, and exit. Where all your dreams come true. Hello, darling. Have you gone insane? I know it's Phoenix. I'm going to prove it. This is breaking and entering. We haven't broken anything. Why would Phoenix want to steal a pop-up book? He's a millionaire! That's why you're wrong. He owes money all over town, look. So he's got a few bills. I mean, everyone... Good grief, the man spends a lot on face cream. He hasn't got a penny to his name. Now, come on, let's find that book and get out of here. <gasps> money! Right! They're right! They're finally right! Aunt Lucy! Yeah. Uncle Pastuzo! Uh. You're never going to get... Whoa! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Good morning, Aunt Lucy! Oh. Good morning, my little hurricane. Why do you have to come crashing in here like a natural disaster? <laughs> but Uncle Pastuzo... They're right! <sighs> Down, you two. There's no need to 
to rush. Now be careful up there. And keep your paws off my hands. I will. Sandwich contains all the vitamins and minerals a bear needs for a whole day. Amazing. Mm. And your Aunt Lucy's recipe is even better than the explorer's. We must remember to take him a jar when we go to London. London? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't worry. We've been talking about that trip for 40 years. One day, Pastuzo. But why would you want to go anywhere when we live in the best place in the world? I told you to be careful. Give me back my hat. Yes, Uncle, but... No buts. It's about time I got a bit of respect around here. Embarrassing. But tasty. <laughs> Uncle Pastor! you coming? I am too old and too tired to go any further. Well, then what will you do? Oh, don't you worry about me. I will be safe in the home for retired bears. But it is not yet time for you to retire. You must find a new home in London. But, but I don't know anyone there. What if they don't even like bears? You know... There was once a war in the explorer's country. Thousands of children were sent away for safety, left at railway stations with labels around their necks, and unknown families took them in and loved them like their own. They will not have forgotten how to treat a stranger. Now take care, my darling. Remember your manners <laughs> and keep safe. <laughs> Our last rainy season. Just think, Pastuzo. This time next month we'll be in London. Where the rivers run with marmalade and the streets are paved with bread. Did you read the book about London? I skimmed it. Oh, Pastuzo. Well, reading makes me sleepy. But any city that can come up with this is all right by me. Oh, Pastuzo, look! It's... it's a cub. Lucy! Lower me down. 
Be careful! to London after all. Why not? We've got a cub to raise. What's he like? Rather small. <coughs> and rather sneezy. <laughs> but he likes his marmalade. That's a good sign. Uh oh, yes, Pastuzo. If we look after this bear, I have a feeling he'll go far. Protein. Put a biscuit. Put a biscuit. 0 0.5 grams. Yes. Carbohydrate. Put a biscuit. Put a biscuit. Put a biscuit. Is 7.7 .7 grams. Yes. Sodium. Oh. I know this one. Yeah, do you? Is it trace? <laughs> Not trace. <laughs> Get a lot of strange customers in here. Oh, you don't know the half of it, love. I've had bishops, magicians, bears, contortionists. Did you say bears? Yeah, one in here last night, actually. Oh, how fascinating. I don't suppose you remember where you took him. Afraid I can't tell you that, love. Why not? Well, it's against the cabbie's code, isn't it? The what? The cabbie's code. It's an oath of confidentiality we take. You know, like your doctors, your priests, your medieval knights. You do understand, don't you, love? Of course. <laughs> Let me tell you about my code. <laughs> when somebody doesn't give me what I want, <laughs> I remove their body parts. <gasps> I start with the nasal hair. <laughs> Ow! And then I move on to something juicier. <laughs> That's my code. And I always stick to it. <laughs> do you always stick to yours? Well, it's not even really a code. No? No, it's more a set of guidelines and a binding ethos. Then tell me, where did you take the bear? Winter Gardens. Thank you. Oh, what's where you're going? Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I get grumpy when I haven't had breakfast. Keys, keys, keys. Bottoms. You can't park here. I'm not parked, I'm doing the bins. You're not doing the bins, sunshine. You're studying on council time. I'm going to report you and your hat. Oh. Morning, Miss Kitts, Colonel. Oh, morning, Mrs Brown. Judy asked me to drop these off to you. Propaganda! You are wasting your time trying to peddle that rubbish. Everyone round here knows it was your bear that done it. And this street is a far, far better place without him. What? Oh, it's that mangy dog. You are going to the pound, my son. Parking with that analysis in a built-up area. Give him here, Mary. I have to sell them under the counter for obvious reasons, but people are buying them. Really? It's a blooming good read. Hmm? Made a few people around here think twice about your young bear. You just need to find that thief. Oh, we're trying. I don't suppose you know where he is, do you, Feathers? He's behind you. Sorry, what? Cooey. Mary? Oh, hello, Phoenix. Why don't you come on in? I want to hear all about the investigation, yeah? Mysterious things have been happening all over town. Oh, yes? Strange characters turning up at every landmark in that book. Are they? I don't know. Perhaps it's just a coincidence. Henry says I let my imagination get the better of me. 
Well, you're an artist, Mary, like me. Our imaginations run free like bison upon the plain. But can I just say, in this particular case, I think dear old Henry might have a point. Do you? But I do have a little bit of good news that might turn your frown upside down. Oh, yes? It looks, fingers, 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 as though the funding may be coming through for my one-man show. Oh, right. It's an evening of monologue and song featuring some of my better-known characters. Would you like a little preview? Um... Picture this scene. Darkness, then suddenly, spotlight, me. Bing! Listen to the rain on the roof. Go pit, pity pat, pit, pity pat, sit. Oh, Mary, you look sad. You don't like musicals? No, 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 no. I suppose it just seems so unfair at Paddington's in prison, and yet life carries on. Oh, I know. It must be so hard to accept that he won. That man with the dazzling blue eyes. Mm. No. I beg your pardon. The man in the poster, your wonderful drawing. Yes, but how do you know he had blue eyes? Hmm? It's just a pencil sketch. Oh. Well, then I must have colored him in. <laughs> Phoenix Buchanan? He's a master of disguise. She's gone mad. Think about it, Henry. Someone out there knows about the cause of her fortune, right? Alleged fortune. And Knuckles said we weren't looking for a criminal gang. Knuckles? Because there was no gang. It was one man. Feathers knew all along. Feathers? Who's Feathers? Hmm? The parrot at the newsstand. No. Can we just return to planet Earth for a moment? Phoenix Buchanan is a highly respected, award-winning actor and a member of our Platinum Club. He is not a petty thief. Hang on a minute, Henry. But let's just assume I'm wrong, shall we? OK. And that the fortune teller, career criminal and parrot are right. Hmm. May I remind you that you don't actually have any proof? Uh now, if anyone wants me, I shall be putting up posters. He's right. Well, I believe you, Mary. Actors are some of the most evil, devious people on the planet. Are they? They lie for a living. Craigie. If we're going to catch one, yes. we're going to need a foolproof plan. I knew there was something special about that pop-up book. Hmm? Well, why else would she have kept it in a strong box? You're not telling me you believed all that guff, are you? Madame Kozlova drew 12 London landmarks in that book. Yes. Well, what if they're not just landmarks? What if they're... I don't know. Clues. Clues? To where she hid her fortune. You mean a treasure map? Exactly. Oh. And that's why the thief took it from Mr. Grubus. First thing tomorrow, we need to go to every landmark in that book. See if we can sniff out anything suspicious. Too many adventure stories, Mary. What? She's a fortune teller. She spun you a yarn. It's what they do. Honestly, Henry, you're so close-minded these days. What's that supposed to mean? What happened to the man I married? He'd have believed me. Oh, him. He's gone. What? I'm afraid your husband's just a creaky old man. He's not bullseye brown. Oh, no. I'm crazy like a fool. Anyway, the point is, we're not going to help Paddington by going on a wild goose chase. We're looking for this scruffy chancer, not some swashbuckling pirate hunting for buried treasure. I think there's more to him than meets the eye. <laughs>